This week, we're diving into a workplace culture topic. And so the question came in from a client. Uh, they said, I heard the term stay interview a few times, and I'm curious, what is it? So, Summer, in two words or less, though, I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> but Summer, what is a stay interview and why are they important? A stay interview is similar to an exit interview, but the purpose is having the conversations prior to your team members saying they're leaving. It's important to have the interview. It's also important to do something with it. It's to draw out the things that are working well and the things that are causing friction uh, for that person and possibly your organization at, at large and tweak those things so that a stay interview doesn't become an exit interview. Absolutely. And I, I'm glad that we got this question because sometimes it, when uh, you're in a role such as mine um, and you work on these things so frequently, sometimes I miss items like this that I don't realize that all small businesses are familiar with you know, some of these practices that are pretty common to us. And so I wanted to talk about it just to make it widely known um, for those that you know, maybe thinking about ways that they can improve their retention and their workplace culture. This is a really easy um, and uh, really, really easy activity that you could do. But one of the most important things is that if you do it, you must be committed to do something with the information that's obtained from them. So it makes me think about sort of survey that a company may do as well. Right, Joey? And I always say, if you're going to ask um, questions on a survey, like employee satisfaction survey or anything similar, you better be prepared to have a plan of action and to do something with it. Because once you ask those questions, employees are going to expect something. They're absolutely right. And they don't have a short memory about this. Um, we, there is a long memory because people are, they remember. I'll give you an example. Um, we didn't win the business, but we were somewhere and uh, was given a proposal. And uh, I had mentioned something about like people wanting to work somewhere where the coffee machine works. And the people we we're talking to said, "Yeah, we don't even have we don't have a coffee machine." And so I was like, "Oh, that sucks because." In your culture, you want to provide things for people. And, and I'm sure at some point it's been recommended that they have coffee or something. Um, so I know that was like a very like rabbit hole tangent response. But go with me here. So um, what I'm saying is when people say that they are looking for a fix, they don't forget that they've asked you for that fix. And so you want to make sure that you're doing what you can to, if you can't fix it, at the very least, address it. And that's my biggest frustration with exit interviews as a whole, is that I feel like sometimes companies do them because they they feel like they need to, like to kind of check the box, right? That employees are expecting them uh, to ask for their opinions about why they leave, why they're leaving, and companies sometimes do them in an effort to like show that they care, but then they receive feedback about potential issues or areas that need improvement and then really don't have a like a clear plan on how to address them. So I know we're really not talking about exit interviews specifically, but I mention it because there's a lot of lessons that we can learn from them when we talk about state interviews. And when I think about you know how to uh, administer state interviews, there's so many different ways that it could be done, whether it's a small organization and everybody can, uh, you know, everybody can participate. Or if there's a strategic approach to perhaps surveying a couple of uh, the most recent hires and then maybe some of your um, longest tenured team members. Right. So you're kind of you're you're getting different perspectives. But I would recommend asking are things like what you know what makes you stay at this company like what are some of the things that you value the most 
And then also asking questions like, you know, what would make you leave? And taking close note to what's important to these team members are going to help design what you may be offering that's no longer valued or what you're not offering that is valued. And again, the idea is creating a plan, a path forward with like how to tackle these items before they actually do leave. And <clears throat> other questions, Joey, I'm sure you have a ton, but I like to ask if you, if there's one thing that you could change or if there's something that you could change about your job that would make your day, make your job like tremendously easier, what would that be? And when I hear that from any team member, I'm listening really carefully because you better believe that if it's in my reach to make that change, you better believe I'm going to do whatever I can to make it happen. Sometimes they're basically telling you, a recruiter's in my inbox and uh, <laughs> they're telling me that they could do this thing for me. No, I'm kidding, uh, but I'm not. So you, you, it, it's really it's really a matter of um, a, a stay interview essentially is a trust building exercise. It is a it's a trust gauging exercise because you're going to see how forthcoming someone is on your team, but it's a trust building exercise because after the interview is over, you've got work to do to to put things in motion that reflect to the employee, hey, what I disclosed was important enough to be considered, and my opinion matters. Um, I'm not bragging; it's more it's more a case study. But you know, I had a conversation with one of our team members two weeks ago, and we were telling them about you know some changes that were happening and um, how they were doing. And one of the things they said was like, thank you, because I see that we're doing things that um, some of them were easier to fix than others, but we're doing things that I thought are recommended or suggested. And uh, so that is, that is um, incredibly, incredibly, rewarding as a as a leader to to hear 